The dark years, as we call them. It was a struggle. We were hanging on by a thread. Before Halo Top, most people were like, healthy ice cream, ah, oh, that's disgusting, I, I don't want that. Halo Top was started by my uh, business partner, Justin Wolverton, in his home kitchen without any idea of starting a business. He just wanted to eat an entire pint of ice cream and not hate himself for it. You're talking hundreds of different variations of the recipe. We were losing money each month, so we would have to raise money or take out more debt. If the company failed, we were both personally bankrupt. What kept us going and how did we persevere? We had tasted it and we knew how good it was and how good it could be if we could just get the traction. January 2016, we got this really funny article. The guy ate nothing but Halo Top for 10 days, not recommended, but put millions of eyeballs on the product. The big three now in the pint category are Halo Top, Ben & Jerry's, and haagen -Dazs. Depending on whatever period you look at it, it shifts among all three in terms of who's the biggest. It's insane, it's surreal to, to even say that. We don't have customers, we have fans. They've, from the start, been evangelical. Before Halo Top, there wasn't really any option of ice cream that you can actually eat the entire pint, and you want to eat it. It doesn't taste like punishment. So it was revolutionary at the time, and, and people's heads exploded, and they're like, I have to tell everybody about this. We ultimately created this subcategory of ice cream. We couldn't have dreamed of what it has become and how big it has become.